Hello, fellow farmers, welcome back to Farm Tips Prime, the go to channel for all things agriculture and farming. Today, we have got an exciting topic to dive into. But before we get started, if you are passionate about farming and want to stay informed with the latest tips, techniques, and community support, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Join our growing community of farm lovers. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable content. Here at Farm Tips Prime, we are dedicated to bringing you educational content that can elevate your farming game. Whether you're a seasoned farmer or just starting out, our goal is to share knowledge that empower you on your farming journey. By subscribing, you become part of a supportive community of farmers who exchange ideas, share experiences, and help each other grow. We value each and every one of you, and your support keeps this channel thriving. Before we jump into today's content, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude to our existing subscribers. Your engagement, comments, and love drive us to create better and more valuable content. If you're new here, welcome aboard. We are excited to have you. So if you're ready to level up your farming skills, and be part of a fantastic farming community, hit that subscribe button now. Let's grow together. All right, let's dive into today's topic, causes of miscarriages in goats and how to prevent it. People have been complaining about miscarriages at their farms, but many don't know the causes. Miscarriage is caused by many, many things, but not everything that you think can cause a miscarriage. But these are some of the core points that can cause miscarriages in animals. 1. The moment you let many males in your frock, it can cause miscarriage because those males will start to misbehave and you know those animals that are pregnant, they really need maximum attention and maximum care. They don't need any disturbance. They don't need those males to disturb them. They don't want to mate when they are pregnant. But if the males are many, of course, they will cause that. They will need to have sex all the time. And that is trouble to the pregnant animals. And that stress that those males can cause can really cause miscarriages. Some of you, when you get miscarriages at your farms, you say that this is brucella. No, it's not the case. Not all miscarriages are caused by brucellosis. No. Also, costudios can cause miscarriages. Pneumonia can also cause miscarriages. Actually, most of the time, anything that causes discomfort to an animal, it causes miscarriage. Because the moment the body senses that there is something not right with it, if the body can't sustain it, it will first eject what is feeding on the body such that the body can fight on its own. So this is what you are supposed to do. Of course, there are some genuine miscarriages that really can be caused by brucella or crostidios. But when animals get pregnant, when they make three months, make sure to vaccinate for crostidios. But remember when they have just produced, vaccinate for brucella melintesis. Sometimes when you vaccinate for brucella melintesis, when those animals are already pregnant, sometimes it causes miscarriages. So do vaccinate for crostidios when those animals are pregnant. Pregnancy of three months is better. Even of two months is very good, but it will be better when you vaccinate them at three months. That helps that animal transfer the immunity to the babies. It will not only help the mother, but it will again help the kids. Because if those kids are produced and the body immunity is too low, the crostidios, those diseases can attack them and they also die. Then you will have two problems, miscarriages and mortality of the kids. But then I have told you what you're supposed to do. Diseases, which is brucella, prostidio, it can either be pneumonia, it can also be CCPP. So just understand that if an animal gets a disease, when it is pregnant, it is easy to get a miscarriage. So it's common that if an animal gets sick, it can miscarriage. But this is what you're supposed to do at your farm. Do not allow them to move longer distances. Because when you let them move longer distances, that means they are using a lot of energy. And remember, if an animal is feeding from a longer distance, it is going to be using a lot of power on its way back. 
and an animal that is pregnant, it really needs a lot of energy because it is feeding the inner baby and itself. So don't allow that stress to be on your pregnant animals. Make sure they move a shorter distance and make sure those animals feed enough. If you feed an animal enough, that is what we call steaming up. Steaming up is our feeding of pregnant animals such that they can help the baby to be big because if the baby is too small, sometimes it gets out and you think it was a miscarriage. But because it was poorly fed, it was not able to grow well in the body or in the womb. So that means that the kid might not survive. Make sure those animals are overfed when they are pregnant, but when they are about to produce, let's say if the pregnancy is four months, reduce on what you have been overfeeding them on. Let's say if you are supplementing them maybe with corn or with silage, reduce it when they make four months. Because we want the baby to at least reduce on the size for easy delivery. If you overfeed it to the end, let's say like to the five months, you're going to have dystopia and animals will fail to produce because of the baby being too big. So when they make four months, reduce on the amount of feeds that you give them such that the baby can at least reduce on the size for either kidding or delivery. We talked about nutrition as one of the causes that can cause miscarriage. Diseases in general, I have not talked about only one disease. There are many diseases. If it happens that you don't know, because in some cases, those animals that move long distances tend to get some toxic weeds, and that can also cause miscarriages. So somebody can't rule out there and then and tell you this is the only cause that causes miscarriages. It's a number of things. But how do we prevent it? First and foremost, vaccinate if the animals have just gotten pregnant or they have not gotten pregnant. Vaccinate for brucella and be sure that that one we have put it aside. Then vaccinate for crostidios. Vaccinate when the animal is pregnant and you be sure crostidios is cleared. Do the nutrition. Feed them well. And if you feed them well, that will also be sorted. And you say my animals are not getting miscarriages because of nutrition too. The mineral salts are also supposed to be in the frocks because it provides a lot of minerals to the animals. So those are some of the things that you have to master when your animals are pregnant and you're trying to avoid miscarriages. 1. Avoiding contact with the males because they will mess up. 2. Do the vaccinations. 3. The nutrition. How are your animals feeding? Provide enough water and also let's take it as a serious note that every farmer you should have a reserved pasture because it will not be raining every time. Always ask yourself that if you don't have the reserved pasture and there is no rain, what is going to happen to your animals? At least make sure that you have some reserved pasture. Those are some of the things that cause miscarriages. But if a miscarriage happens abruptly, what do you do? Give those animals some long-acting oxy and some multivitamins. And I do that on a weekly basis till when they produce. And that keeps my eyes open that the next pregnancy, I should follow the right criteria the way I have told you. I hope you have found this episode helpful and learned something. I now know that you can prevent miscarriages on your farm. Remember, farming is not just a job. It's a way of life, and we are here to support you every step of the way. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join our community of passionate farmers. Your support means the world to us, and it keeps Farm Tips Prime growing. Now, I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on today's topic and share any additional tips you have. Let's continue the conversation in the comments section. Stay tuned for our next video. Trust me, you won't want to miss it out. So until next time, happy farming, and I will catch you in the next episode of Farm Tips Prime. Once again, a big thank you to our incredible community. Your support fuels our passion for sharing value of farm insights. Keep cultivating, keep growing, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.